I bought DaVinci Resolve Studio, so you don't have to. But the real question is, should you get it? Is it really worth $300 to upgrade an already free software that's being used by industry professionals just to get features like halation and film grain, 3D camera tracking, AI rotoscoping with a click of a button and many more features. So let's talk about if it's worth upgrading to DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I specifically wanted to talk about 10 different features that are very appealing no matter if you're doing personal projects or professional client work. And I want to start off with one of my favorite features. This one is a game changer if you have to edit long interviews or talking head videos. Obviously this is nothing new since the transcription feature in Resolve just allows you to automatically transcribe your audio tracks. But this feature is not only useful cause you can search for a specific keyword to find any part in your video recording but you can also trim out the silence. And everyone who speaks to a camera knows that trimming out the silence and your stutters and everything is a game changer. So the next feature that also came with the AI hype is the AI rotoscoping. In Resolve it's called the Magic Masks feature and it's also the feature that I used in the intro of this video. So with pretty much one simple click you can get accurate masks around any moving objects in your clips. And just to set that into perspective for you, usually a rotoscoping job for a person can easily take up multiple hours for just a few seconds of footage. And the next amazing feature with the studio version is upscaling. So let's say for example if I want to zoom into this clip, the more I zoom into the clip the more quality I will lose. But with this enhancement feature I can zoom in very very far and still enhance the footage to make it look somewhat usable. And especially when you upload in 4K this is very useful since you can upscale your full HD footage to fit into your video. The next amazing feature on this list is the people identifier. So this feature basically just detects people based on their facial features and organizes them into groups. Just like the transcription feature this is amazing to save time when going through your footage. And the next thing that was just amazing to see in action is the death maps together with the relight feature. The death map feature alone should have deserved a point on this list, but I just want to show you that feature in action together with the relight feature. So let's for example say I forgot to add a light on my left side here. Now I can get the death map to analyze the foreground and background of my footage. This happens automatically by the AI built into Resolve. And now I can use the relight feature to add a light on my left side. And this is way different from just using a power mask to brighten up my face, since this way it's not affecting the background. And it also looks way more natural, like I actually had a light here in real life. And by the way guys keep in mind that these videos take a lot of time and effort to make so a like and a follow is much appreciated. Thank you. Okay so let's talk about the next feature which is noise reduction. This one is pretty much self-explanatory but I just wanted to show you how powerful this is. Look at the shot right here and without any editing it has a lot of noise but as soon as I apply noise reduction you can see how much more clarity I can get out of my shot. And the next feature that I really enjoy is 3D camera tracking. This is a little more specific and also nothing new, but if you never heard about camera tracking before, this basically allows you to accurately integrate computer generated elements or graphics into your footage just by tracking what the camera movement in real life was. And the great part with 3D tracking in Resolve now is that you can track the camera as well as composite fully working visual effects into your video without even needing to change the program. Of course, it doesn't make any 3D software obsolete, but it's still nice to have. And the next feature is one of my favorite ones, which is film emulations, or more specific grain and halation. It adds small imperfections as well as highlight bloom and grain to your footage, which in the end just makes it look like it was shot on film. And let's be honest guys, after testing this, I'm certain that this is what you were missing to even make your phone footage look like it was shot on an expensive film camera. Another great feature that I was really stoked to try out was the face refinement feature. I'm just going to show you what it does on my face while explaining why you should use it. So this tool enhances the appearance of human faces in your footage. And all of that while maintaining a natural and realistic look. It helps to get better skin tones, reduce imperfections and also enhance the facial features. And this really streamlines the post-production process since it uses face detection and this way you don't have to do anything manually anymore. And the last feature that was really helpful for my editing workflow was the GPU acceleration. This feature just offloads processing tasks to the graphics card. This way you have way faster rendering, playback and overall just a smoother editing experience. And personally I could almost cut in half my rendering times on some of my projects. So as a conclusion I can only say that there's a reason that Resolve is being used in Hollywood productions. And let's be honest and also keep in mind, it's either 5 months of Adobe Creative Cloud or lifetime access to DaVinci Resolve Studio. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.